like smaller groups. I feel my voice counts more. I can feel more a part of it. A huge choral group can sometimes be a little bit too anonymous, and yet I'm really not a solo singer. So this gives me the best of both worlds, really. Those seem to sum up the reasons for the Oriana singers coming and staying together. Their professions range from waiting tables to working as visual artists. But their favorite pastime is the same, singing madrigals. And that's just what they do for churches and organizations in our community. The Orion Singers began uh, a year ago in uh, the summer of 1979 as a vocal workshop, part of the Halcyon Repertory Company. Um, I had been doing music for some of the shows there, and uh, in the summer there wasn't anything happening in the theater, so I pulled some of the company members together and some friends of mine, uh, and we just started singing some madrigals, and uh, we decided to have a concert. It uh, led to yet another concert after that, and uh, we've reached the point where we're at right now. I find it a real challenge to work with people who have uh, lots of formal training in music, for mu music has usually been a hobby. It's extremely challenging to sometimes be the only voice singing a part, whereas in a bigger situation, there might be 60 voices on your part. A group like this is the kind of thing where I can do good music with good musicians and still not take a huge chunk out of my life. for tonight's show. Next week...